My name is Jose Elwin. I'm a lawyer and I'm a co-director of the Observatorio Ciudadano, a Citizens Watch, uh, an NGO uh, based in Chile, aimed at the promotion and at the protection of uh, uh, human rights in general. I came to a training program, ISHR uh, grant, in November 2008. It was a training program on the UPR, on, on, on treaty bodies. Um, it was the first time that I had exposure to uh, uh, the UPR in particular and to the way uh, in which the uh, treaty monitoring bodies uh, worked. Um, I had a really good experience uh, in, in that course. Uh, um, those uh, who taught in, in that course were very knowledgeable. Um, they enabled me to get um, to have a, both a theoretical and a practical uh, uh, information regarding the use of the, the UN system. Um, my classmates were. Um, people who came from all over the world, their expertise uh, probably at that stage was larger than mine, so that was very helpful too. Um, and in fact, uh, the course, uh, uh, the training program, uh, which had its uh, uh, lectures on one hand and uh, attendance to uh, uh, UPR sessions, to uh, treaty body sessions, were very uh, helpful. It enabled me uh, to make during the last year, 2009, a, a very intensive use of the, the UN system. Uh, my organization, the Observatorio Ciudadano, built alliances uh, to, with several uh, NGOs in Chile, uh, academic centers, uh, women rights uh, organizations, uh, indigenous people's organizations, and. And we uh, presented, uh, made submissions for the UPR, uh, which uh, was, which Chile's UPR took place in May of 2009. Um, we also submitted um, uh, an alternative report to CAS, the Committee Against Torture, which uh, reviewed Chile in May of 2009 uh, also. Uh, we also submitted a, a report to uh, CERD, uh, the Committee Against Racial Discrimination, which examined Chile in August of 2009. And finally, we um, also helped the visit of a special rapporteur on the rights of indigenous peoples, uh, uh, James Anaya, to Chile, which occurred in April uh, of 2009. And uh, his report was released in September of 2009. So it was a very intensive year, and um, the experience I, 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 that, that I got from the training program was central. We were aware of the relevance of the UN. Chile had a military dictatorship uh, from 1973 to 1990. Uh, the first special rapporteur ever appointed was a uh, a rapporteur on the case of Chile and gross human rights violations. Uh, uh, and at that time, their reports, uh, their visits to Chile had uh, uh, great importance. Uh, however, Chile uh, recovered its democracy in 1990. Um, we had a lot of expectations that human rights would be uh, legally and constitutionally acknowledged and that uh, human rights violation would end up uh, but unfortunately, that was not the case. Uh, we had very active in the use of the domestic uh, instruments. Uh, we also had have been active in the use of the inter-American human rights system, uh, which is uh, quite uh, um, relevant in terms of uh, the protection of human rights. It has a mission and a court, and, and its decisions are binding to states. Uh, so we had prioritized uh, uh, the, the, the inter-American human rights system. I, I think that, that we still have uh, need to make a more intensive use of uh, the UN system, both in terms of uh, the implementation of recommendations, and, and, and we've shared that experience uh, here at the, this training program. Uh, we've done a lot on that. We have disseminated all of our 
alternative reports and the UN body reports uh, in a publication that we released uh, very recently. Uh, we have uh, uh, proposed the government the establishment of a uh, monitoring mechanism to follow up uh, on recommendations of the, uh, at least the, the UPR. Uh, but we still have to make uh, a more intensive use of uh, uh, different mechanisms such as uh, individual complaints. Uh, uh, we uh, are planning to, to make use of uh, the individual complaint system. Chile is a body to make all uh, uh, international instruments, UN international instruments, uh, and it has accepted uh, uh, in accordance to treaty provisions, the uh, possibility of receiving individual complaints by CAT, by CERD, and has also uh, ratified the uh, additional protocol to the Convention on Civil and Political Rights. Basically, encourage human rights defenders based in different, different geographical contexts um, uh, to um, have the possibility to take the screening programs uh, um, to um, have a broader knowledge of what the UN system is and, and how can it be used in practical terms uh, for uh, defense of human rights on the ground. Um, I think that there's, a, there's an incredible opportunity and uh, a, if they have the chance that they, they should uh, be able to come here and for those who have been here, I, I think that the challenge is uh, uh, to share this information back at home, to build networks, and uh, uh, to teach um, uh, our colleagues on uh, not only in NGOs, formal NGOs, but in civil society in general, talking about um, um, labor unions, uh, um, women's movements, uh, indigenous peoples' uh, organizations, uh, about the possibilities and the avenues that. Uh, the human system embraced.